now I'm not providing the information or I'm not providing the terms that, uh, that are in between here okay but let's just assume that if we did actually apply the binomial theorem to this that we would actually be able to get its full expansion okay well, it's full expansion. We'll still have we'll still have some sort of some sort of uh, telescoping in, in the center here, where we've sort of we've just said sort of the pattern continues. But what's important from a logical perspective is that we understand the constant term, and we understand the term that has the highest the the, the highest power, which is going to be an x to the power of n when we actually when we actually multiply this out. Okay. Uh, now, what about so now let's consider okay so if 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 a minus b of x to the n is actually equal to this well then then what we have is well then uh, x to the n times a minus b of x to the n uh, must be equal to something like this well it's x to the n times a to the n so it's x to the n multiplied by each one of these terms so actually what we're going to end up with here is we're going to end up with a to the n times x to the n plus x to the n multiplied by the next term multiply by the next term and so on and so forth all the way down okay plus it's going to be minus 1 raised to the power of n times b to the n and it's going to be the x to the n times the x to the n which is uh, well it's x to the power of x to the power of x to the power of 2n okay so this is what this particular polynomial will actually look like okay so this is important so this is an important polynomial here for us okay so this is important okay so really what we're saying here is that uh, n n factorial f of x okay is actually equal to this polynomial here it's a to the n times x to the n plus all the way down to minus 1 to the n times b to the n times x to the 2n okay so now we have that polynomial okay now Every time I've seen this particular proof, the question I've always asked is, wow, where did this function come from? Because this function is going to be so important for us in relation to proving that pi is irrational. So I just actually ask you to take a little bit of a leap of faith here, yeah, and just let's actually look at this function and let's actually look at its characteristics, okay? So what I want to now consider is I want to consider successive derivatives of this particular function, yeah? So I'm going to consider, consider uh, successive, successive derivatives, okay? derivatives uh, of the function of the function the function n factorial times times f of x so i want to consider this particular this particular function here from a derivatives perspective and with respect to with respect to all of its derivatives or as many of the derivatives that we can actually rationalize okay uh, so let's see what we have okay so let me just maybe write it down again so we have n factorial f of x okay uh, is equal to a to the n x to the n plus all the way down plus minus one times n to the b n times x to the power of 2n okay? the important thing to know here is that every single term okay uh, has the indeterminate x uh, present in, in in the term that's really important to note that so the first derivative let's just write it down uh, the first derivative okay okay uh, but let's symbolize that by n factorial f1 of x okay so what does the first derivative look like okay and this is just basic differentiation here okay where we're differentiating a power function or where it's differentiating a series of power functions okay so what does the first derivative of this look like well it's going to be the first derivative of of the first term plus the first derivative of the of the second term and so on and so forth it's going to be plus the first derivative of the nth term so don't forget these are all constants a to the n minus 1 to the n b to the n are all constants okay the only thing that's indeterminant uh, at this stage is, is is our x's so when we differentiate this particular term here what do we end up with well we end up with the power times the coefficient times the x raised to the power of we reduce the power by one particular we reduce the power by one particular uh, one, uh, by one okay so this gives us it's going to give us n times a to the n times x to the power of n minus one okay so that's going to be what happens with the first term and we continue differentiating down the terms okay uh, when we differentiate this term here once again it's the power 2n times the co times the coefficient so it's going to be 2n times minus 1 to the n times b to the n times x to the power of 2n and we reduce the power by 1 okay so that's what the first derivative looks like let's have a look at the second derivative so our second derivative so our second uh, derivative okay uh, is going to look like well it's n factorial f2 of x okay well what's it going to look like well it's going to be the derivative of the first derivative okay so we're going to differentiate each particular term okay uh, so it's going to be 
n minus one, that's the power of the indeterminant, so it's n minus one times the coefficient, okay? Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna redo this in a particular sequence. I'm gonna commute these particular values here. So it's gonna be n, so it's n minus one times n. Well, that's the same as n times n minus one, okay? Times a to the n times x to the power of n, well, we're gonna reduce that by one, so it's n minus two plus all the way down and what we're going to end up with here is 2 to the n minus 1 that's the power of the indeterminant uh, the exponent the exponent times the coefficient yeah which is a constant so it's 2n minus 1 times 2n well we we'll write that as 2n times 2n minus 1 times minus 1 to the n times bn uh, times x to the power of and we reduce the power by 1 so it's currently 2 to the n minus 1 so we reduce it to 2 to the n minus 2 okay and we continue in this particular fashion let's just do the third derivative okay the third derivative okay so the third derivative is going to be uh, n factorial f f f3 for the third derivative uh, is going to be equal to it's going to be equal to n times n minus 1 times n minus 2